food processing industry scope and opportunities in india food processing industry is actually a subset of agriculture in agriculture what we do we grow food crops like paddy wheat sugar uh, sugarcane maize millets etc in food processing we actually process these foods we go a step further and we process the foods we create value addition and by this way the farmer will be able to earn more revenue let's take an example let's say a farmer is growing oranges he is selling 1 kilo of orange for rupees 50 instead of selling the oranges in the raw form if we able to process the oranges and sell this 1 kilo of orange in the form of a fruit squash he will be able to send sell it for rupees 150 so the revenue is increasing drastically so this is the main benefit of food processing many western countries they have already been into food processing india only now we have stepped into food processing we have a long way to grow if you look at agriculture agriculture in india the gdp contribution of agriculture is very low at 17% even though 50% of labor force is engaged in agriculture the productivity is very very low and we know about the problems in agriculture it is actually a vicious cycle of poverty and um uh, and uh, inefficiency in agriculture so food processing has a lot of scope in agriculture it has the ability to be a game changer in agriculture it can bring great economies of scale in agriculture some reports they have stated that uh, food processing industry itself can cre- can create nearly 1 crore jobs in india in the next 5 uh, years and this industry has the potential to be a, to be a nearly 35 billion dollar industry in india in the next if i so food processing industry definitely is a game changer to the gdp of india and the agricultural economy now look at the uh, let's look at the various benefits of food processing the first benefit like i said increased revenue to farmers we saw the orange example secondly lot of jobs will be created lakhs and lakhs of jobs can created in the rural sector both skilled and unskilled labor mainly women can be employed in uh, large numbers so employment food processing industry has massive scale in india third infrastructure facilities will improve in rural areas so once food processing industries are being built in rural areas the associated road rail infrastructure will also be brought up uh, they will bring godowns chilling facility in the rural areas so the rural infrastructure itself will develop it will improve the rural economy as a whole next thing food processing industry has massive scope in exports so billions of dollars can be earned through export of food processing products uh, like uh, dairy products horticulture products vegetables spices etc so huge scope in the export industry lot of foreign uh, exchange can be earned it will boost our foreign exchange reserves uh next is there will be lot of forward and backward linkages in the agricultural economy for example farmer will sell a crop to the food processing industry food processing industry in turn will buy this crop from the farmers and they will uh, do food processing and then they will export it to other countries next the farmers will benefit a lot there will, uh, the uh, intermediaries will largely be eliminated and due to this infrastructure facilities like godown chilling facilities etc the farmer will not be forced to immediately sell this produce actually he can process the food he can store it in the uh, infrastructure facilities like godown and this chilling units etc he can sell the products as a at a later stage also he can uh, sell the product to the agro processing industries as a later stage when the prices are beneficial uh next benefit is that dairy farming is has a great scope in uh, in the food processing industry in india there is vast amount of dry land waste land in india millions of hectares of waste land in india especially in the western states of india like rajasthan gujarat so these areas can be used for dairy farming so dairy farming milk products can be processed and they can be exported to other countries that is a massive revenue scope for massive revenue in dairy farming within this food processing industry next if you take states such as Maj- uh, this madhya pradesh india has a great geographical advantage india has a uh, india is a huge country geographically it has uh, multiple climatic variation each part of the country has its own climate okay one part will be dry other part will be evergreen in nature uh, northeast states they are evergreen in nature 
South India is actually a mixture of dry vegetation as well as wet vegetation. So because of the geographical nature, because of various agroclimatic zones, various crops can be grown in India. Herbs, horticultural crops, vegetables, spices, millets, many crops can be grown in India. So food processing has a massive scope in India. So the geography of India itself has a great gift for food processing. Madhya Pradesh, for example, has nearly 11 agroclimatic zones and various crops can be grown in Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh is present in the middle of India and, and in fact it can serve as a logistic hub for the entire country. So various crops can be grown and then they can be transmitted to various states and if needed they can also be exported from various ports of the country. So states like Madhya Pradesh they have a huge scope in food processing. Similarly northeastern states economy will also get a huge boost from food processing industry. Herbs and spices they can be grown in the northeastern states like Manipur, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh etc. Next benefit is the government is, is already planning to build a lot of mega food parks in India. Mega food parks. Mega food parks they are like the special economic zones, SCCs, massive industrial zones within that food processing industries will be present. They will process food crops and they will export to other countries. It will provide a lot of opportunities for uh, uh, this lacks and lacks of employment for the local people and export revenue export revenue will also increase so mega food parks already nearly uh, 14 mega food parks are operational in india the, the government is planning to bring nearly four, 40 mega food parks in future so mega food parks it will take agriculture to the level of industry so it will bring agriculture to a large scale and this food processing industry in future will be a game changer for the entire economy of India.